Hi everyone, my name is Melina and I'm going to be talking about Jackson Katz's article uh, called Advertising in the Construction of Violent White Masculinity. So um, in this article, Katz has labeled some different terms and concepts, uh, one of them being mascul masculinities, um, which quote unquote is uh, more adequately described as the complexities of male social position, identity, and experience. So um, masculinities also has um, a subcategory, I guess you could call it, um, where, so the general description of masculinities is um, a heterosexual white or Caucasian male who is in the high middle to high upper class, and um, the subordinate definition of masculinities would be um, anything that defies that. So a male who's either gay or of a different race, um, such as Hispanic or African American or um, even in a, in a lower class um, or maybe a combination of all three of those. And an example uh, that I connected to masculinities was, um, and I hope you guys had a chance to click on the links of both the articles and the videos that I have, so this will all kind of make more sense to you, um, was the Mr. Clean advertisement. So in the Mr. Clean advertisement, um, first of all, it's Mr. Clean, it's not Mrs. Clean, right? And in that in that commercial, um, you see how Mr. Clean is, first of all, very muscular, which is a masculine trait, um, or and um, he's standing in the back of the woman while she cleans, kind of in a very domineering stature like this, always standing behind her, giving her like thumbs ups that she's doing a good job cleaning. And um, and the woman is cleaning, right? And it's a woman, it's not a man, it's not the father, it's not the husband, or it, it's the mom, it's the wife, it's the woman cleaning. And um, a lot of different verbs and words are used um, that portray this this masculine, I don't want to say violent, but the words can be described in in violent situations such as tackles. So when so he, the commercial uses like tackles, dirty areas, tackles bacteria. So that that verb is used in you know we automatically connect it to like sports, like tackling in football or violence, um, and toughness. And tough is actually another word that's used. So tough cleaning. Um, and these are just kind of, you know, going along the lines of what Katz was saying and how, um, you know, the male, the masculine male, um, the violent male even is being normalized and being portrayed in, in, in different situations in media, such as in this one. Um, and so another concept that he talks about is violent behavior being a typical male trait as opposed to a female trait, uh, which um, an advertisement that I had uh, to compare to that was the Gucci ad. So the Gucci ad is for the Gucci clone called um, Gucci Guilty. And um, as Katz describes, you know, ads that link masculinity to violence, um, they try to possess this bad boy attitude, this this um, aggressive guy who, you know, and that's what women are supposed to be attracted to. And we see that exactly play out in this ad where it's the woman dangling on the man. She looks kind of dainty and she's obviously very attracted to him because he's wearing his cologne. And um, the man, he's kind of in the back. Um, he looks almost dirty, like not clean. He looks really rugged and he has that whole attitude in his face and the way he's looking. And um, the most interesting part of this ad and of the clone itself that um, that I thought was, was that it's called guilty, Gucci guilty, right? And so when you think of the word guilty, you automatically associate that with being guilty, doing something bad, being guilty of committing a crime or being guilty of doing something wrong or doing someone uh, wrong. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. Um, and another concept... Katz talks about is um, how media attempts to promote masculinity um, and and normalize this this link with violence and masculinity and the violent white male um, and something that I saw um, and maybe some of others of you saw this week um, 
that was trending a lot on social media was the CDC's new warnings uh, to women, pregnant women and women, all women in general, um, when they engage in, in drinking alcohol. Um, and this is this attempt to promote, you know, and normalize masculinity and, the, and violence is, is a is a argument that I had agreed with because I think we see this a lot in media and I think that this um, example from the CDC which is not even typical advertising but um, you know it, it's it's showing this exactly and so in in this advertisement um, it's a list of uh, you know of risks that pregnant women um, take on when they drink alcohol and a list of risks that just women in general, if they're drinking, that they take on. And one of the risks um, was injuries and violence. And so this had a lot of people thinking and saying, well, why would a woman who's drinking alcohol and engaging in, you know, maybe who, who, who does get drunk, why would she be um, under the risk of violence? Is it because, you know, she might become vulnerable to um, a man or, or a man being violent with her? And so this, this had a lot of people... Um, asking, you know, then they were making jokes about it. Can women, they can't go out without drinking, women are in danger of, you know, it was, it was a whole list, but, um, I thought that really, uh, easily connected with, with Katz's point. Um, one of the arguments I did not agree with, however, was, um, his argument on, uh, military symbolism as a tactic, um, for the appeal in products. Um, I basically just didn't agree with this because um, I feel as though, um, you know, I, I understand his, his he gives a few examples such as the MTM watches, um, but I think in general and through my experience at least, military, I haven't seen it used so much in promoting products. Um, and of course, military advertisements themselves, I think it's only natural um, that there's going to be maybe a heavier male presence. Uh, although I have seen advertisements with females in it as well. Um, and I think just because historically uh, the military is a male-dominated organization, um, that you're going to see that. And I also think that, you know, you're going to see the military advertisements being more tough um, because the military is a, is a tough, uh, it's a tough thing. It's people are, um, they're recruiting people to defend the country. So, you know, you have to kind of do that in a way that's appealing, um, and at the same time realistic so that people know what they're getting into. So I just didn't think that military was a really fair um, was a really fair example. But I hope that my articles and links were helpful in um, engaging with this reading. And thank you guys for watching.